Hey, my name is Ryan, and today I'm comparing the Thursday Boot Company to the Lewis Jet Boot Company, and we're going to see what's the best value for your money at that $200 price range. Let's dive into the video. Thanks for watching. First, let me qualify my experience with these boots. I have had four pairs of Thursday boots, but I currently only have this pair. This is the last pair. I've sold the other ones, and I really like the company. It was my first introduction into Goodyear welted boots. I now have two pairs of Lewis Jet boots, and I can kind of see what you're getting for that $200 price range. And I really think we need to look at the pros and cons of each of these boots so you know if you're going to get started into Goodyear welted shoes and you want to have that $200 uh, price range that you can get the best one for your money and the best style for your money. So first I want to talk about Thursday because I have the most experience with Thursday uh, to be honest with you. And I do love Thursday boots. They have a place in my rotation. This is like my construction worker shoe and this is absolutely the most comfortable Goodyear welted shoe I have. It's just broken in. It's got that nice Vibram uh, wedge outsole. So it's it's a great boot. So my, my story with Thursday is when I had moved into the boot world is I'm normally a dress shoe guy. So I need dress shoes for my lifestyle, my work. So that was my introduction into Goodyear welted shoes. So that's my Allen Edmonds. So then I jumped into Thursday boots because at the time they were, they were the only ones in that $200 price range. And they provided so much. You know, with Thursday, you're getting a Goodyear welt, you're getting a leather midsole, a great leather upper, lots of choices in leathers. For the captain um, and the other service style boots, you're getting a leather um, heel and the you know, rubber heel lift, but a, a leather stacked heel. You're just getting so much for that $200 price range. And it's kind of surprising that it hasn't gone up that much or at all really. Uh, but what kind of steered me away from Thursdays in the long run was how a slim their lasts were. They're just a sleeker last, which has its place. This is definitely a better company if you wear tighter jeans. You know, now everyone's doing just the standard fit or relaxed fit. And so these don't pair as well. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, sorry. Um, but these with the mock toe, they can. They're a little bit chunkier with the wedge. But their captains, their cadets, their service boot styles just didn't have a place in my wardrobe anymore. I still think they're great boots. And um, the great line boots. So they're just fantastic shoes uh, if you like the look. And one of the other huge positives are, is the selection. There's so many different styles, so many different leather styles. You really have an unlimited supply of uh, choices. And so you can find something that you like with Thursday boots for that 200 range. You cannot go wrong with Thursday boots. If there is any major flaw is that they have a, a fiberboard uh, insole, which is topped with a leather liner. And then underneath that is the pour on. So for a heritage style, uh, people like leather insoles. And that's really the main difference uh, with the Lewis Jet. So with the Lewis Jet boot, you're getting a full veg tan leather insole. Uh, you're not getting the midsole in this model. Uh, you do get a midsole in their wedge sole models like the uh, Thursday boot diplomat here. Uh, but with their service boots, you're not getting that midsole. With Thursday's service boot styles, you do still get that midsole. So that's a little bit beefier. So there's a point to a Thursday there. but. What I think is so great about the Lewis Jet boot is how it encompasses what a heritage boot is all about by putting that leather midsole. This is something you've got to get used to if you want to get into the boot world and the shoe world. I got used to it with my Allen Edmonds. My Allen Edmonds dress shoes have the same style veg tan thick leather insole. You break it in, but once you break it in, it is so comfortable. It molds to your feet and that is so important because these are made to be recrafted. If you only can get one or two recrafts because that fiberboard is disintegrated, it's just not worth it as much as going with a true heritage style, the leather uh, insole. So in my opinion, if I'm looking at both of these, I'm going to go with the Lewis Jet. The, the style of the last is a little bit more towards my taste now anyway. It's not super thin like the Thursday boots. 
And with that leather insole, you're just getting so much wear out of that and really experiencing the joy of high quality heritage footwear. Let's go over the pros and cons of each boot because even though I recommended the Lewis Jet, there are going to be some of you out there that still really should go with the Thursday boots. And that's because of the return policy. It's a huge thing to consider. Thursday Boots has a great return policy. I've had a friend buy Thursday Boots and he didn't like them that much. or Something was off and they just sent him another pair. They didn't even make him send back. I mean, I'm not saying that they're gonna do that, but with him, maybe he complained too much, but uh, just you're going to get a prepaid shipping label. You can really try them on if you want to and then send them back and you're not gonna be investing in the company. With Lewis Jet, you are, you really, you're taking a gamble, and with sizing and everything, there's just not as much out there. I'm, that's why I'm trying to make videos about this company. I don't have any affiliation, and I don't make any money if they do good. I'm just telling you I like the boots, so I'm trying to make a lot of content on them. Uh, when it comes to sizing, I think their sizing is a little bit harder. With Thursday, it's a little bit easier, even though the narrow last does make it harder to uh, break in when you first get it but it's just the return policy. So this is a gamble. This boot is a gamble. If you get the right size, it's like winning the lottery with this boot. It is such an awesome boot. I get a ton of compliments on this boot. It looks like it should be double the price that it is. With this one, you just know what you're gonna get. If you don't get the right one, you can send it back and that's fine. So that's like the main difference of these boots is that this one is a little bit more of a gamble while the Thursday you're not going to lose a lot. So uh, what type of person are you is going to determine what shoe you're going to get. When I look at these shoes from an outsider's opinion, this one wins every time. It doesn't have the midsole and it doesn't have the name brand leathers that Thursday has available, but everything else is just a little bit better. The Goodyear welt stitching is better. The design of the last is a little bit better, in my opinion, for a modern style. The hardware is better. The insole is a thousand times better, honestly, just having that thick veg tan leather insole. The lining leather maybe is a little bit softer with Thursday, now that I'm feeling them. Uh, but it's you can't go wrong with either of them, but I just, for my money, I would go with the Lewis Jet boots for $199. Now this boot is a little bit more expensive, but they do have service boots and, and wedge, toll, wedge, wedge sold shoes that are the mock toe for that $199. Takes a lot longer to get them, but again, it's going to be something that if you get it right, it's, it's just nicer. The boot's nicer. So I, I do love Thursday. I think they're great. I think uh, when you go to New York and you walk around, you're going to see a ton of these. This is something you're not going to see a lot of, and people are going to mistakenly think it's an Alden Indy, which is a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your personality. But I, I just have an affinity towards this boot. I think it's great, and I really want to get more of these. With Thursdays, I still love this boot. I have a connection to it. I got it soaked in a rainstorm. It's molded to my feet. It just won't last as long with that fiberboard insole, but still... I recommend these guys 10 times out of 10. I just like this one a little bit more. So thank you for watching this video. I know it was a little bit of a ramble on. Um, let me know if you have any questions about these boots. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, they're both not gusseted, so that's one thing just to consider. Um, my last pair of Diplomats, it would always go to the left. I don't know what it was. This pair doesn't do it. Um, and then both of my Lewis Jet boots aren't gusseted, but it stays nice, nice on the front of my foot. So that's one thing to consider, but thanks so much for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Like I'm starting to say in some videos, if I don't get growth, it's gonna be hard for me to keep going with this. I have a certain goal that I wanna hit with the growth of the channel and I'll try to bring you better quality videos. And you can let me know what I can do to do better for you guys. And I'll try to do it if I can. So thank you, like and subscribe, share if you can. Thank you so much, I appreciate your viewership and we'll see you on the next one.